Good evening, everyone. We come to the beautiful Twitter of the three days, which begins with Holy Thursday. Once again, it's sad that we're not able to be together physically in our beautiful sacred space. But for all of you joining us here at home, we hope that you will find this an enriching time for you and for your families. The Triduum, the three days, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then Easter Sunday, these days remind us of those final days in the life of Jesus. And Jesus tells his disciples what they must do to really follow him. But he doesn't only tell them, he shows them. And so this evening, I invite you to listen as I share with you the beautiful gospel story from this evening's Mass. Brothers and sisters in faith, the Lord be with you. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel now according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from the world to his Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during his supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his garments. He took a towel and dried it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, and he dried them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will not inherit with me eternal life. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has faith has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow so that, as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, one of the most beautiful rituals that I will miss this Holy Thursday evening is our gathering and washing of each other's feet. We also remember tonight the institution of the Eucharist, a meal that sustains us as we try to follow and live as Christ. He is our reason that we come together week after week. And boy, how I, like I'm sure you, long for that day to come when we can be together again around this table. But what I want you to pay attention to this evening in our reading from John's Gospel is there is no meal or mention of bread and wine. John totally omits the description of the Last Supper in which he actually serves the apostles bread and wine. We know as the Eucharist that we share week after week. Rather, he used
uses only foot washing, the beautiful ritual of foot washing, something that we are deprived of this Holy Thursday. But in that action that we hear about, he tells this true meaning of communion, that is, sacrifice and service to one another. As we recall in the services and prayers this week, Jesus gives himself to the very end for the salvation of the world. And just as Jesus made a sacrifice with his life, so too now are we called to make sacrifices with our lives in this time of frustration and uncertainty where all of life feels somehow upside down. Friends, this bizarre time of social distancing, it's a great challenge and sacrifice for us all. E-learning and teachers can put enormous pressure on the students and families and teachers as well. Workers in the medical field, they're overwhelmed and they're stressed and concerned not only for their patients but also for themselves and their families. And more than ever, so many people forced out of work are struggling in many ways. And we suddenly realize how truly essential some people are in our lives, like barbers and hairstylists who make us look good, and bakers who create delicious and gorgeous pastries for all the special occasions that have had to be canceled, and restaurants with their owners and cooks and waiters and bartenders who add so much joy to our social lives. All of us are making sacrifices for the well-being of each other and the world, which is our global family. And in making these continued sacrifices, we are living the mark of what it means to be Christians. And that's what's exemplified in the Gospel tonight. It is, in a sense, our washing of the feet this week. It's our service to one another in these very unusual and uncertain times. And so in our practice of social distancing, in our small and large acts of kindness, in our patience with each other as we are cooped up in our homes with more time together than we ever imagined, we are washing the feet of each other. We're sacrificing, practicing humility and patience with each other. So remember now and in the days and weeks ahead that our Christian identity is marked by service. And as Jesus, the Master, has done, so now we are called to do. And this Holy Week, this Easter season, right now, the best place for us to practice this will be at home. I pray for you that God's peace and strength and blessing be with you this night and throughout the true world. And now, friends, as a way of helping you and your family celebrate and remember this beautiful Holy Thursday, Alex Ryan, who's on our staff here and helps with liturgy, She's going to share with you some beautiful and creative ways that you can celebrate Holy Thursday together at home. We are all grieving the loss of our gatherings, perhaps even more during this Holy Week. We cannot gather, as Father Carl said, to perform our rituals, but we can still enter into this Holy Week deeply in our own homes. In fact, perhaps this year, we may understand best what the first disciples felt during the events of Holy Week and Easter. Fear, confusion, isolation, but also growing understanding, trust, and hope. And so, separate in distance, but together in spirit, we can dive into the rituals of the true norm in a new and profound way. If you live with someone, or are quarantined with someone together, you can take a simple pitcher and bowl and prayerfully wash each other's feet. If you live with people or alone, you 
can break bread prayerfully as the disciples did during the Last Supper. We have resources and prayer services for these two rituals that you can use together with family or alone and other rituals of Holy Week. Then come back to the St. Giles Facebook page where later tonight we will be streaming live adoration. Let us all grow closer to God on these holy days, apart and distance from each other, but united in true love, service, and solidarity.